So before I start this, I wanted to thank Millennium Mouse for editing this video. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel you guys should go check out. Go follow him and uh, tell him thank you for doing the stuff that I'm not great at. So coming out on the 26th of April, uh, I think everyone is already aware of, but Avengers Endgame. I, I'm really excited to see this, but I don't know if it's for the right reason. I've kind of exhausted myself. It's, it's my own fault for sure. I've, I've talked to a bunch of people. I've gone over it and gone back and forth on what our theories are and what we think is going to happen. Who's going to survive? Who's going to die? And I'm just kind of like, I just want it done so I can talk about something else with people for once. Like, I, I love these movies and I'm excited for them, but I'm just, I'm just done. I'm tired of having the same conversations over and over. And for me, my, my problem is the theory that I have, which I think is heavily based on time travel, them going back in time, using the quantum realm to go back and save everyone somehow. Like, I don't know the specifics of how, but the time travel is going to be a huge factor in that based on a lot of different things on IMDb. It classified as time travel movie and just a lot of different things that lead me to believe that this will be a time travel movie and that really bothers me because it takes away so much of what's important all the stakes are gone from the future movies if you know that you can just kind of erase everything if you can just undo everything that you want to do and to me that's kind of a cheap way to handle it unless they're gonna go more along the lines of Dragon Ball Z and the way they do time travel because if the original team goes back in time but now this is a separate universe and they save that universe but they have to sacrifice themselves that might be kind of interesting but still So I'm kind of preemptively annoyed with this movie and that's dumb. I see that and I recognize that and I know that, but it's really hard to not, not feel that way for me because I feel like I know a big portion of what's going to happen and I don't like it. And then every, everything that makes sense that they would do with it, with the time travel feels like a cheap way out or creating a, you know, a new universe, a, um, uh, like a, a multi-universe, a multiverse feels like another cheap way. Like there's, it's just, hmm. the problem is infinity war ended and it told us this is important. These people getting dusted, you should feel something about this. You should be sad. You should miss them. These are characters you love. And this means something. And coming into this movie, you kind of feel like, yeah, but does it, does Infinity War really mean something? Because you're just going to undo everything you did. And so I kind of wish the dusting would have happened at the beginning of Endgame opposed to the end of Infinity War. And it would have felt much cleaner, but I don't know how you really end Infinity War in that case. I don't know what the resolution is because that's definitely Thanos' movie. Um, so coming into Endgame, I'm like, I have mixed feelings, but pretty much everyone is back. Uh, all the cast, the, and from all 21 movies coming in before this, everyone who's notable is coming back for this movie. And a lot of them are ending their contracts. Uh, Mark Ruffalo is saying that this is his last one. Robert Downey Jr. His contract is up, but he's, he's talking about potentially continuing working in the MCU. Uh, Chris Evans contract is up. I believe Chris Hemsworth contract may be up. And so you have a lot of people who from the beginning are looking to kind of step out, to move on. I mean, they've been doing it for 10 years. And so I think what happens after this movie is going to be really interesting because it's starting something completely new. So I'm excited for Endgame because I think what happens is it's going to tie up these first 22 movies really cleanly. I think it's going to wrap up a lot of storylines. I think a lot of people are going to feel satisfied. I think there's going to be a lot of frustration that some characters don't get as much as you kind of hope, but I think I think it's going to be good. And then it'll be interesting going into the next movies because it's kind of a fresh start. 
So I'm really interested to see what they do after in-game because that's all going to feel really new. It's no longer going to be about the Infinity Stones, most likely. It's going to follow a lot of new characters and the, the structure of the Avengers is going to be completely different. And so I think the next movie, I know it's uh, the Spider-Man, so that maybe, maybe not that one, but the next official MCU movie is going to be really telling what uh, direction they're going because they're going to have to start over. You're losing a core of your team, of your, you know, your characters. And uh, I think it's going to drop off quite a bit. Maybe it won't. Maybe I could be wrong. But my assumption is after this movie, a lot of people are going to be like, you know what? That was good. 22 movies. I followed it. I was excited about it. I, you know, I rode with them through the highs and the lows. But I'm kind of done. You know, I'm kind of tired of being a fanboy for this. Like, I'm ready to find something new. I mean, it's been two movies uh, a year, almost. Maybe more, maybe less for 10 years now and it's really hard to keep that excitement up so definitely this week i would say go watch endgame if you've seen any of the other marvel movies because this is going to be it's going to be something special because it's going to be something that's never been done before even if you don't care about characters even if you don't care about you know action movies and all this stuff it's this is like i said something special I like this one. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for Avengers? Are you looking forward to it? Do you think it's going to do better than Infinity War? And also, what do you think about after Endgame? Do you think you're going to stay as excited for these movies as you have been before? Or is it kind of something that might die off for you? But let me know, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.